last week reading some of your comments and filtering them by comments that contain questions I realized I have plenty of questions from you guys so I decided why not make a video answering them so your first AutoCAD question comes from Jacob Jackson and he says hey you mentioned in one of your videos that you always use color by block can you provide an, ex an explanation of this yes of course Jacob so let me explain you why I like to use always or I like to set color by block on any of my blocks so let's say for instance I have this block right here if I go to the property palette you can see is a block reference and by the way this block was created by AutoCAD it came inside the AutoCAD program so I didn't create this block but if I open this block and click block editor you will see that the objects that are inside this block if we go to the property palette the color is set by block now again I didn't create this block this block was created by AutoCAD so why are they doing this right let me explain you the concept behind uh, setting a color by block on the objects inside uh, any block so basically what happened here is that if you set color by block on the objects that are inside a block you can select any of your blocks and from the properties you'll be able to change the color let's say if I change it to red you could change individually colors for any of your blocks however if I let me undo this let's say I have this block editor and now I'm going to change this object instead of color by block I will change it to by layer so let me save and close this block now and let's say what happened let's see what happened once I change the property of this block again so if I change the color to red you will see that it didn't change to red only the number was changed because I forgot to change the number to by layer but you got the idea so again to answer your question Jacob I always like to set my objects inside my block to color by block your second AutoCAD question comes from Javier Campos and Javier is asking how to use transparency on XREF I like to half tone my floor plans when doing electricals yes Javier that's a great question because usually that's what people usually do right like change the transparency of their extracts to kind of differentiate uh, maybe existing from proposed uh, floor plans so let me show you how to do it so let me go and change to a drawing that has an existing extra so if we select this we go to the properties we can see that it is an external reference so the way let me go to paper space first and do a print preview to show you that the extra right now is showing at the same level of line weight as the other notes so if we want to change this extra uh, and change the transparency 
we had to open our layer palette so let me open it and then we're gonna go here and expand the xref option over here and let me expand this a little bit and as you can see we have two extra right now on this drawing we have the layer x base which is this extra over here and then we'll have a title block also as an extra so selecting the base which is this drawing over here i'm gonna go all the way up scrolling my middle mouse wheel and i'm gonna select any of these layers and then using the shortcut control a i'm gonna select all of the layers on this specific extra so once i do that i'm gonna go here on the transparency option and it doesn't matter where i click just make sure it's under the transparency uh, value so i'm gonna click here and then a message will pop out change the transparency in this case i'm gonna change it to um 60 and then click ok so once i do that you can see that right at the way you can see the xref it's showing a little more um transparent now if we go to paper space we need to do one extra step here which is that when we um, do a preview we need to set it up so the transparency also works let me show you if we go here on paper i'm gonna right click on it and click the page setup manager and then modify so again make sure the plot transparency is checked like i have it right now so that's good and then if i do a print or in this case i'm gonna do a preview you can see that your extra is showing lighter so again this is the trick that you can use javier to change the transparency on your extras all right your third autocad question comes from can and he's asking why we use set by layer command what is the purpose yes let me explain you what is the idea of set by layer command can so let's say for instance uh, let me go to this other drawing to explain you a little bit better and let's say for instance this text over here right now it's on the x room name layer and if we go to the property palette you can see that the color is by layer which it's correct for singular objects that are not part of, of a block so but let's say somebody is working on this drawing and they want to do a change of color and you know they want to do it quickly they don't want to mess up with the layers and so on so they go and come here and change the color to red for instance and now he probably saved the drawing and then close it and then when i open this drawing and i see these two text that are about the same node adjacent space in this case they are in different colors but they're not supposed to be in different colors right because they are the same node so this is because somebody overwrote this color for this specific node so in order to fix this AutoCAD created a command called set by layer So if we type the command set by layer and you can even go farther and press f1 oops f1 and again you can see autocad 
is giving you information about this command and it says that changes the property overrides of selected objects to by layer. So for this specific example, the color was overridden. So let me select this object right here and then pressing enter it says change by block to by layer. I will say yes or, pre or simply press enter include blocks yes and boom as you can see your note now has been fixed and is now by layer so this is a quick way if you have let's say many text or notes that have been overridden you can fix them quickly using the set by layer command hey i hope these autocad questions can help you to better understand some of the important concepts of the AutoCAD program. And if you have a question, simply leave them in the comments and I'll make sure to answer them.